gonna be like, whoop, whoop. All right, so this little chip here, it's called the Node MCU. This I can actually use to connect to Alexa. You basically turn this into an Alexa device, and then we can have it run like an Arduino where we can output the GPIO pins to do things. Basically how it's gonna work is I'm gonna output a pin based on an Alexa signal, which would turn on a switch. So let me show you how it works. Here's the schematic we're gonna be using. Um, here's our main chip, the Node MCU. Pin four is gonna output the signal going through this resistor to the transistor that looks like this. Um, so from here we have the base. This goes through this resistor back to pin four. The emitter goes here to ground and the collector goes up through this relay coil back to 3.3 volts. Um, now when switching on and off a relay coil, you also need a flyback diode, which we have here. Um, so basically when this outputs a signal, it energizes the relay and this switch closes. Um, and this is basically hooked up to whatever you want and it'll just turn it on and off. So once we wire this thing up, now we have to go ahead and program this. So we simply just have to plug this in with a micro USB, open up a web page here. My website. <laughs> so you can actually find all this on my website as well, uh, gregensum.com. Or you can go to my GitHub page. Yeah, so we're gonna do that. Now if we go to the GitHub page, we're gonna go to Node MCU Alexa device. We're gonna download these libraries and then come over to the sketch. We're gonna download that and this is what we're gonna flash to our Node MCU. All right, so all we really have to do is enter your Wi-Fi name and password. Um, then to get an API key, we're gonna go to this website. Here you can register for an account. I'm just gonna log in. Next, uh, you're gonna get your API key here. You can copy that and go back here, uh, paste it in the API key, then go back over to the website. We're gonna add a smart device, make it a switch, name it anything, then press save. Then, once you find your switch, um, you'll get a device ID. You're gonna copy that, come back over here, um, paste it in the device of first ID right here. And you're all set. So now that we have this all wired up with the relay and a little uh, LED, we can go test this out with the Alexa. All right, so first we're gonna come over to the Alexa app. Uh, we're gonna go to the menu and skills. Uh, from here, we're gonna go to the search bar and search for Synric. Um, once we get to that, we're gonna enable that skill and it's gonna have you sign in with the same credentials. Once you enabled it, we're gonna come to devices and add device. We're gonna scroll down to switch, other, and discover devices. And here it should pick up your device and you're all set. Alexa, turn on the desk light. Okay. Alexa, turn off the desk light. Okay. Here's a relay we're gonna be using. If we come over to the data sheet, um, here's what it looks like. Uh, we're gonna be looking for contact rating. Um, at 250 volts AC, it's rated for 5 amps, which is good enough for what we're doing. All right, so here in the Arduino code, if we go to our turn on function, um, under the first ID, which is the one we'll be using, um, under here, we also want to write digital write for high, which will um, turn this pin high when it's um, called. Um, and then under turn off, we're gonna put digital write for low here. And then we're going to come down to void setup, go to the end of it. So click that. Here's the end of that function. Um, hit enter and put pin mode for output. Um, so you can choose a different pin for each device. Um, here you can see you can add multiple devices on the same uh, Node MCU. Alright, so now we can come over to the smart mirror. I'm going to install the Node MCU into this. Um, so that we can turn it on and off with Alexa. Good night songs. These good night songs. I'm gonna get it one of these days. I promise you, promise you. Okay, so here's the little circuit chip I made out of that schematic. So all you have to do is take the ESP module and plug it right in there. And now it's all set. 
Okay, now that we've installed the Node MCU, uh, which is powered by the Raspberry Pi, um, this is going to switch on and off the power supply uh, for the monitor on the control board, which is fed by 12 volts DC. Alexa, turn on the smart mirror. You can hear like the relay switch in the back, um, and then you can see it boot up here. Do, 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 do. There it is. Cool. And that's about it. Now for all my projects, if you go to my website, you can come over here, um, go to Alexa device, and then you can see everything here as far as lines of code, approximate time to completion, um, parts, schematics here, programming tips, um, and then overview of the, all the instructions. I have everything listed here under my uh, work page uh, where you can find all the information for pretty much anything. 